The Attachments on the File System plugin allows you to store attachments in a folder on the file system instead of in the database. This can be a good option to use for help desks that have a heavy load of attachments that are taking up a lot of storage in the database. Let's take a look at how it's used. First, you need to make sure you enable the plugin. Check the links in the description for a previous video on how to install an OS Ticket plugin. Here, you'll need to provide the path to a folder on the server where the attachments will be stored. You'll need to ensure that the path given is writable by the server. Let's create that directory now. For this example, I'll create a folder called OS Ticket Attachments within the root of my code files. In order for the server to be able to write to it, I want the owner to be Apache. I would also only like the Apache user to have write access to the folder. Now let's take a look at what we've created. Here you can see the folder we created with the appropriate permissions. Here is a more detailed breakdown of the folder permissions. Now that we have the folder set up, let's add the path to the plugin. Note that since our folder is in the root of the code files, we can simply type the folder name. Depending on the location of your folder, your path may look a little different. Now that the plugin is configured and enabled, we need to set the help desk to store attachments in the file system by default. Now, let's create a ticket with attachments and see the plugin in action. When we look in the database, you'll see the file we just uploaded with F in the BK column. This is how we know the file was stored in the file system rather than the database. You'll also see the file in the folder we created. Notice that all the attachments that were already added to this help desk have a D in the BK column. This lets us know that they are stored in the database. Now that we know the files are being saved to the file system, we should go ahead and move the other files to the file system as well. Let's take a look at the attachment backends that are currently available. Notice that D and F are both listed. Now we can run the following command to change the backend from database to file system. As you can see, the files were successfully migrated. We can take a look in the database as well.
As you can see, the files were successfully migrated. And finally, you'll see that the attachments were moved to the folder we specified as well. That's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Check the links in the description to keep up with the latest OS Ticket news. As always, thanks for watching.